Welcome to Make Your Money Matter. I'm your host, Brad Barrett. Have you ever thought what a crazy world we live in and whether you are preparing to retire or already retired? I'm gonna share something today on our show that a proactive plan, as I share all the time, is critical to help safeguard your money, your investments, especially amid all of this uncertainty. And so today I'm gonna to talk about specifically six things that you can do right now to create a plan that helps protect again around all of the uncertainty that we're seeing. But before we get started, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. All right, let's get into it. Hey, look, in life in general, we all carry on risks, right? We all carry the craziness that goes on uh, with this world that we live in. And I think as you get closer to retirement, again, whatever stage that you're in right now is a significant milestone in your life. And it can bring both excitement and fear. I deal with this all the time with our clients uh, being a financial advisor of nearly 20 years. I mean, for some people, retirement means freedom from deadlines, from stress, and from the grind of going to work nearly every day for decades. And they can't wait to take it easy, spend more time with friends and family and do whatever they want. Now, those fears though, that they might have are not unfounded either, right? Especially during times of spiking inflation, things like volatility, we're seeing rising interest rates, all the stuff that we're seeing, all these predictions about, you know, a coming recession and so on and so forth. I mean, it's never been a good idea, I think, in general, in life to wing it, right? To wing anything that's important to you. So I wouldn't wing your investments or your uh, savings or wing your retirement. But these days, whether you're already retired or preparing to make the leap, again, it's critical to have a proactive plan, no matter what you uh, have going on to protect your future. So when it comes to investing in your portfolio, it's really about prioritizing your goals and figuring out what's required to achieve those goals. So here are six things you can do right now to safeguard your investments, okay, and your retirement. Number one, this is gonna be very clear, is have a vision. Know what you're going for here. This may seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people I meet with, especially couples, who really haven't given much thought uh, to what they want to do in retirement. I mean, they don't know uh, you know, their location, their lifestyle, future needs and, and wants. They don't know what they might look like as they age. They just kind of wing it. And so just in case you're wondering, by the way, buying a boat or some big trailer is not specifically a retirement plan. Now, number two is with those goals in mind, let's put a realistic price tag on them, okay? So once you come up with your retirement objectives, you can then create a plan based on your estimated expenses, including things like your housing, your transportation, healthcare, and all of your leisure, all of that, okay? Obviously, yes, it can be difficult to predict what some of those might cost uh, might, or what those might be in the future, but this exercise will help you grasp how much you'll need to maintain the lifestyle you actually want and really, I think, deal with some of the tumultuousness that you may see along the way. Number three, I would then go into creating an income plan. So if you follow these steps so far, friends, you'll be able to you know, really create a proactive plan here for your life. And this third one is important from all of these, okay? Once you have a better idea about your cost, you can then create the plan. This means figuring out all the income streams you expect to tap into in retirement, things like social security, a pension, a workplace uh, retirement plan maybe, other investments, maybe passive income. And if you have a shortfall, by the way, between the money coming in and the money going out, you need to come up with a way to cover the differences, whether it's save more, spend less, maybe work part-time in retirement, or hire a good money manager to help you build this. Maybe these things uh, you know, uh, you need to consider, but the sooner you do them, the, the sooner you look at these, you know what you're facing financially, the sooner you can work to remedy any problems that may come up. Number four, uh, from there, I want you to evaluate your asset allocation. So that's number four, asset allocation. And that is the process of dividing your investment portfolio among different asset classes, things like stocks, bonds, cash, cash equivalents. I mean, the goal uh, for asset allocation in general is to create a diversified and balanced portfolio, which can help reduce your overall risk. That's the most important thing there. And then ultimately, increase your returns over the long term. By the way, I speak about this all the time, right? This is a great way a financial advisor can help you determine the right asset allocation for your retirement portfolio based on your risk tolerances, your investment goals, and ultimately your time horizon. Number five is this. I, I think in life in general, you should always hope for the best and then plan for the worst, right? The old Mike Tyson saying, yeah, everyone's got a plan to get punched in the face. So it's important that I add this here as a step. So I think when all of us, uh, when soon to be retirees in particular, dream of retirement, they'll typically picture themselves on the golf course or traveling or playing with their grandkids, you know, the good stuff, right? But it's important to prepare for whatever life throws you through the years. I mean, the stuff that you don't plan for and really don't want, those are important to also consider. So it could be, you know, things to protect on this could be choosing the right Medicare plan to fit your individual needs, maybe considering how you might cover the rising costs of long-term care or inflation in general, or ensuring your surviving spouse is taken care of, or maybe it's just drawing up an estate uh, to leave your legacy to your loved ones. 
know, hope for the best, but plan for the worst. That's that's number five. And the sixth and final one is we cannot ever forget about taxes. All right. I, you know, I talk about it all the time as well, especially in the, the year end, which is where we're at right now. It's important for us to bring this up. Right. But, you know, we tend to, I think, underestimate the bite, if you will, that taxes can take from retirement every year. So if you have a tax deferred retirement plan, like a 401k or 403b, an IRA, uh, which really is which is a retirement plan, but it's deferred asset, you'll pay taxes on the withdrawals. Other than Roth, you'll pay taxes on the withdrawals. So you also may be required to pay taxes on a portion of your social security income, which is also important to go through with your advisor. So there's strategies that can actually help minimize the damages that taxes uh, can do in retirement, you can revert back to one of our videos. Uh, as I mentioned, there's two particular ones that you can do this year before year end. But no matter what, of all the six steps I just brought up, the sooner you put your plan in place, the better you will be. So get after it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that today. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our show and always remember to make your money matter.